Rage on that beat, going crazy. Tonight we have a guy who throws the uppercut. Standing against the guy who has to really be conscious of his defensive posture against it. Yeah, the main thing, don't keep your head right in the middle. Get your head on the side a little bit. If you leave it in the middle, you're in the exact zone that the man with the uppercut wants you to be in. He ties up there. See him with the left of the head there? The Dragon's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Nice strike after catching one by the kid. That's a serious power punch he just landed to the head. from that uppercut by the dragon. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Now hugging on the inside. Comes across with a hook up top. Last 10 seconds of this first round. See, not just one jab, he throws that second one right behind it. The Dragon's right hand scores well that time. Round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with you here ringside. Teddy, you know, you really got to admire how accurate he is. I mean, he makes the most of what he throws. Yeah, he makes it count. This is a guy who doesn't want to waste anything. just wasting away some time with that clinch. Keep working the A well-placed gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Dragons landed a good, solid combination. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. The kid's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. How about a return to sender with the left hand? 
Halfway through this round. Blocks away that headshot. A solid true uppercut by the Dragon. And he just holds on there. The Dragon's got a way of just getting away from that punch. The kid's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. There's that right hand he scores with. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date. He wants to get to it. Seconds to go here in the second round. The Dragon's in complete control here as he takes a rest after a round in which he really dominated the action. Is there anything, Teddy, that you see that he should be thinking about when he gets off the stool here for the next round? Yeah, you know, he should follow up on his lead on his edge, on his advantage. You know, he's, I noticed that he's hurt him in the body. Well, now start to double up that hook. One downstairs, one upstairs. Relax, relax. Solid uppercut. The kid's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. He's committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. The Dragon's showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. See how he targets that hook? Kids impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Get close to him. Good defensive skill. Hunting with the left. Pace yourself. <laughs> the kid's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Close the jam. And he's holding. hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by the dragon good block Back to the body. <laughs> now here's an opportunity where he can take advantage as he backs him into the corner Want this fight? Then let's get. Well, things continue like this. This is going to be an interesting stretch run of this fight. Beginning of round number four. Protecting his head well with his guard. Let's see some defense. The kids.
Dlack in that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic thing in the world is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. It keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up your offense. <gasps> Committing to the combo now, both land. A quick, devastating hook by the kid. He committed to the jab, and then he brought home the bacon with the uppercut. Well done. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. The Dragon's combination punching is working well here. Halfway through round number four. The kid's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. The Dragon's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Not able to land the headshot. <laughs> Rushed by a big right hand. Solid. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. One, two, three, four. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Dragon's fighting real smart here on the outside. Hits him in the mug with the right. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. The kid's defense is paying off now. Carry it away and catch it. Got that? Real good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after a round in which he was knocked down. Yeah, that's about DNA. That's about genetics. I mean, he has good recovery skills. That's it. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. The kid's doing a poor job here. This is not how he wants this fight to be. He wants to be winning this fight as an inside fighter. That's not how it's playing out. Yeah, he needs to be on the inside. But you know what? Maybe he doesn't want to be there. Because there's nothing else that's stopping him from going there. Maybe he doesn't have the confidence, the wherewithal, the discipline to get there. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. The kid's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Punch! Punch! The dragon's punch didn't come close. Halfway into round number five here. <laughs> and 
and just grabbing on to his Hook. opponent. Hook! Protect yourself! Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. The kid's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. The kid's going about this in a completely different way. He was knocked down, and now he's abandoned everything that he trained up to this point to do. He just threw the game plan away, Teddy. Yeah, now there's good and bad to that. The good is maybe he had to make a change because he didn't feel... Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. The Dragon's right hand working well that time. He scored well. The kid's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. And round five comes to an end. The Dragon's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. The kid's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. The kid's trainers are doing a good job, aren't they, Teddy? Carroll was rocked, but now look at him. Yeah, they're giving him the right advice. You know, they've made a little strategic change here, a little bit of an adjustment. That's what you like to see. Not just the fighter thinking, but the corner, the support team thinking. Same the body. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Side, side. Halfway through round six. After that punch. You're okay. Stay with me here. <laughs> Good strong combo. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Go. Gotta love the work by the dragon. <laughs> Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Nice. That is my nice. favorite punch there is. A forceful uppercut by the Dragon. Good job with another left hand. Way to block there. The kid's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. The Dragon's able to avoid that punch. And round six comes to an end. The kid's all of a sudden finding his stride here. In that last round, we saw vast improvement He's still down on your scorecard, right, Teddy? Yeah, I have him down a little bit. But he's, he's making a comeback here based on what we just saw. He's doing what he needs to do. You know, he's picking up the pace a little bit, and he's starting to get into the right range. To me, before, he was too far back. Now he's taking the steps to put himself in position where he can start doing the things he needs to do to get back in this fight. 
Ooh. The Dragon's making for a very, very difficult night for his opponent. His opponent knew this was coming. Hold the him, kid hold stumbled him. back. He just move, got hurt. Move. Keep moving, keep moving. Pace yourself. There it is. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. <laughs> the kid's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. Each man able to land an uppercut. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Inside, inside. A battering ram of a hook. And yet another big shot comes in. Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked out earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. A little head hunt. Oh, and there you go. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three. Four, five. That's it. The fight is over. Ladies and gentlemen.